China's fourth aircraft carrier may most likely be a nuclear-powered design, providing the power necessary for operating energy-intensive technologies such as railguns and emails. China has unveiled a super-ship concept, a railgun-armed nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. The electromagnetic railgun, also known as the railgun, was once regarded as an advanced weapon of future science fiction. In theory, because of its high initial launch velocity, large kinetic energy of the projectile, strong damage effect, small projectile mass and volume, high-speed continuous launch, and low cost of use, many countries have been treating this weapon since the early 1980s. It has been developed. China's researchers recently claimed to have developed a working electromagnetic railgun, potentially providing the PLA with one of the most disruptive new weapons of the 21st century. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy claims to have developed a powerful electromagnetic railgun that can launch projectiles at very high speed and precision. The US military was a leader in railgun research for many years, but it ended its program in 2021 after spending over $500 million. The stated reasons were the engineering challenges involved, particularly the tendency for the barrel to wear down after only a few shots, as well as a desire to shift resources to other programs, such as hypersonic missiles. But an underlying driver was a mismatch between the envisioned role and shifting Navy priorities. The railgun was initially meant to equip the future Zumwalt-class destroyers, a program which was cut short over its own cost issues. The railgun was also primarily envisioned to conduct attacks that the Navy now believes can be handled by existing cruise missiles and new hypersonic missiles. Railgun's potential as an air missile drone defensive system were never fully explored, despite this being a far thornier problem for the Navy and other US services. While the US may have lost interest for the time being, railgun R&D presses on in other states. In 2023, the French Defense Procurement Agency unveiled a naval electromagnetic railgun project, while the Japanese military is working on a railgun for air defense. Last year, a Japanese ship performed the first ever railgun test at sea, a success that led the Ministry of Defense to request 23.8 billion yen about $160 million for railgun R&D in its 2024 budget. Yet the nation that has demonstrated the most continuing interest is China. In December, the South China Morning Post reported that researchers at the PLA Naval Engineering University had developed a working electromagnetic railgun. The Chinese team claimed that their railgun can fire a projectile 100 to 200 kilometers at Mach 6. Had enabled them to test fire 120 rounds in a row without failure, which, if true, suggests that they solved the long-standing problem that reportedly bedeviled U.S. researchers. Asia Times reported in October 2022 that China is reportedly planning to develop a nuclear-powered carrier called Type 004 by 2025. According to China State Shipbuilding Corporation CSSC, it aims to achieve a breakthrough in nuclear-powered technology by 2027, which could be used to develop the carrier. CSSC has previously leaked a mock-up of the proposed carrier. Also, improvements in submarine detection technology may enable China's supership to perform anti-submarine missions effectively. China has unveiled a supership concept, a railgun-armed nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, reviving an old Soviet concept in line with its bastion strategy in the South China Sea. The SCMP notes that the supership could carry many aircraft but differs from traditional carriers. As it is heavily armed with electromagnetic weapons such as railguns, coil guns, rocket launchers, laser weapons, and high-powered microwaves. The source notes that the ship's advanced technology effectively transforms energy from the ship's power source into the electromagnetic energy needed to power high-powered weapons. Allowing a single warship to defend against air attacks accurately, engage in anti-submarine warfare, intercept missiles, and deliver precise strikes on both naval and land targets. Records of Chinese work on railguns date to 2011. In 2018, pictures appeared of a test system mounted on the bow of the Type 072 class landing ship Haiyangshan. The following month brought word that the Red Banner had been awarded on the eve of the March 8 Women's Day. To researcher Zhang Xiao for her work in power supply maintenance and system simulation during successful tests on the ship. In contrast, the US stopped research on railgun technology in 2021, citing fiscal constraints, combat system integration challenges, 
and the technology maturation of hypersonic weapons. Also, the US railgun project has been marred with challenges in barrel design, lifespan, and materials that could withstand the power pulse, heat, and pressure in launching projectiles. The Fuken is equipped with an EMAL system that does not require nuclear power. Operating this system is less complicated and imposes less stress on the airframes. Additionally, it can launch heavier aircraft and increase the number of aircraft in the air more efficiently within a shorter time frame. Moreover, China's electromagnetic aircraft launch system EMAL's technology may help resolve the problems associated with Soviet-era aviation cruises' complement of aircraft. On the other hand, China's two older carriers, Liaoning and Shandong, use a ski ramp design, which limits the amount of fuel and armament the embarked aircraft can carry. China's fourth aircraft carrier may most likely be a nuclear-powered design, providing the power necessary for operating energy-intensive technologies such as railguns and emails. While railguns tend to get the headlines, China has made advances in a wide range of electric and electromagnetic applications for the PLA Navy's warships. For example, the lab's research on electromagnetic launch technology has also been applied to the development of electromagnetic catapults for the PLA Navy's growing aircraft carrier fleet. The PLA Navy's newest carrier is to be equipped with an electromagnetic catapult derived from the research carried out by this lab, making China only the second country with this advanced technology, while it remains to be seen whether the Chinese Navy can develop a full-scale railgun, produce it at scale, and integrate it onto its warships, it is obvious that it has made steady advances in recent years on a technology of immense military significance that the US has abandoned. Moreover, a broader program on shipboard electrical power may prove to be even more consequential, allowing for integration of all manner of advanced weaponry and electronic systems for China's warships.